Kentucky All-Stars ready to go versus Tennessee. You see Austin Husky, one of Williamsburg's one of Williamsburg, one of the four captains on the Kentucky side. And Husky played well at linebacker. Stuffs EJ Matthews there for the short game. Tennessee leading, though, 3 0 in the first quarter. I like, I like that celebration. Same drive. The leads increased to 6 0 with a 43 yard field goal from Carter Phillippe. Same score in the second. Logan Walters rolls out to the left, decides to keep it, leaps into the end zone. That's a 14 yard score. Tennessee led 13 0 at the half. The Kentucky offense started slow but picked it up in the second half. Andre Davis connects with Lamarius Kinslow for the 20 yard score. Kinslow from Fern Creek High School in where? Boulville, Kentucky down. A 13, I'm just waiting for a male seven. kid to make it. But the Tennessee offense was clicking. Walters, the quick pass to Kentel Williams, and Williams looks like he only has a clear path, but Keyshawn Walker strips it loose. However, Williams would recover the fumble in the end zone for the touchdown. Kentucky would add another score, but it was not enough. Tennessee regains the series advantage now at five games to four, winning this afternoon 29-14. Josh McKinney completes the coverage from Williamsburg. A dreary afternoon weather-wise turned even more dreary for the Kentucky All-Stars as they fell to Tennessee 29-14 in the ninth annual National Guard Border Bowl. Both teams had really good players. Both teams had players that can make big plays whenever, whatever part of the game. And just, it was fun. It was really, really cool to see this talent, all this talent together on the field. The Kentucky offense was shut out for nearly 45 minutes of game time before scoring its first points of the day with just more than six seconds remaining in the third quarter. But by that time, the rhythm it had found was too little too late. Yeah, the first half we couldn't move the football. And, you know, we went to a little small package where we're just trying to grind it out. But you know, it's not going to be able to get us some uh, the yardages that we need by just chunk and dunk. We had to put it in the air, and we just was missing some people uh, on the passes, missing them either short or long. So it's it's uh, uh, it's a growing experience for these young guys. I just think uh, at the beginning of the game we just didn't click. We uh, offensive line they just uh, both sides of the ball uh, they was just uh, struggling to click and figure out which play, how to run the play and uh, control the defense. 43 players were able to represent Kentucky Saturday afternoon and of the 43, 15 hail from the WYMT coverage area and they say the opportunity they were given was something they had worked for their entire lives. I appreciate it man. I enjoy it. I think it's a good bonding experience, a way to get rivals together and compete and show who's the best in the states. But since eighth grade year I've been, I've play on the eighth grade all-star team and uh, couldn't ask for a better experience than this. You know, it means a lot. It kind of makes you nervous when you think about it. Just Kentucky, Tennessee and how big that rivalry is, but to be a part of it is really cool. Win, lose, or draw the experience the players gained playing with and against the best of the best from the bluegrass and volunteer states is something they consider much more valuable than any score on a scoreboard.